I found a tool that can help you generate AI videos as long as 30 minutes. It is perfect for storytelling channels like African folk tales, 3D animations, or cinematic stories. And the results are so, so beautiful and realistic. Most AI video tools struggle with creating consistent characters, lifelike animations, or even smooth ones. Most of the time, you start strong, but halfway, the faces will change, the scenes will flicker, or the visuals don't just match the storyline. That's where this tool stands out. It keeps your characters consistent from start to finish. And the video quality looks like a mini movie. Let me show you how it works. Now to get started, just open your browser and type in the search bar, type V-I-D-E-O, video I-N-U, all right? And you're going to be getting this result. Click on this one. Click on the first one you're seeing right now. So I'm clicking on that. You're going to be seeing the interface like this. To get started, you click on this button, and click on start for free, and then you can see it has AI video generator and AI character generator. Before you be able to create on this platform, you need to log in. So when you click on login right here, you ask to either log in with your Google or you create um, an account with them. So I'll just go ahead and use the login with Google. I like using login with Google because it's faster. But if you want to, you can go ahead and enter your email address. And like that, you will get a code. You can enter your email. When you enter your email address right here, then you click on send code to send you a verification code. So I'll just go ahead and use the login with Google. And I'm going to choose one of my Google accounts to have access. So once you're able to log in, you will see login success. And then you'll be redirected to the home page. So as you can see, for a new account, you get 500 free credits on the platform once you are in. And you can see the two features here. We have AI video generator and the AI character generator. So for storytelling or, you know, video generation, we're going to go with the AI video generator. Why the AI character generator helps you generate AI images. If you would like me to go into that in details in another video, I will definitely do that. Please let me know in the comment section. Now, we're going to go with the AI video generator right now. I'll just click on that. And then this is the next thing you're going to be seeing. Now, on this part where you have the untitled project, you can give your project a title or a name, you know, just to store that um, project. I'm just going to save it as story one. And then that's it so it has successfully saved the project name as story one now we have the content we have the storyboard and we have the edit on the content part which is the first thing we're going to be doing it says what story do you want to create today so we have create a story preview so and inside here we have the prompt box this is where you're going to be pasting your prompt now before then if you look at this part where we have the smart script 3D cartoon, one minute landscape English. That's the default settings that we have presently, right? On this platform, you can use the smart script feature or you use a basic script. Now, if you click on smart scripts now, you'll be able to change it to basic script. Now, take a look at smart script. It says adventurous and surprising. Why the basic scripts? You have obedient to instructions, meaning that it follows exactly what whatever you instruct it. Now I'm going to go with the basic script that the smart script just follows the probably templates that they have already on the platform and it won't really give you much. So we'll just go with the basic script and then we'll click on the confirm. So right there, it changes to basic script. Now the next one there is 3D, meaning that by default, if we go ahead with this creation, now it's going to give us 3D, but no, we want to change it depend on what you want to create anyway so for me i'll go with cinematic so you can see different styles that they have here we have the 3d cartoon we have cinematic we have horror we have zootopia realistic and all of that so for me i'll just go with cinematic and then i click on confirm right so by default we have one minute i'll just click on the one minute part you'll be able to set the duration of your story for free you have access to do 30 seconds a maximum of one minute for free while if you want to do three minutes and all of that you will need to pay uh for the subscription right so the maximum you can do for free is one minute meaning that you can create one minute story or video 
right here for free while you can create up to 30 minutes video um right on this platform if you go for the paid version now we're going to go with one minute and then i'll click on confirm just for the purpose of this tutorial on the landscape part that should be the aspect ratio when you click on it you'll be able to set your aspect ratio whether you want it to be in form of landscape or you want it in form of portrait as usual i will go with landscape right and click on confirm if you want to create stories for tiktok or youtube short then go ahead and click on portrait then you click on confirm and for the language we have different languages here we have um francais we have espanol we have other ones like this so we'll just go with english and then we we'll click on ok right the next thing is for us to paste our script right here inside this prompt box and to do so just paste your script if you don't have any script at hand you know ChatGPT can help you create a story so i'll just go ahead and get my story from ChatGPT or get my script from ChatGPT. So I will just come over to ChatGPT and copy my script. But let me quickly run this part for the purpose of those who are just starting. If you understand scripting or how to get your story ideas or your scripts, you can fast forward this video all right, a bit. Now, in case you're just starting, you can ask ChatGPT to suggest story ideas for you. In my own case, I'm doing cinematic stories. So I say suggest five cinematic story ideas for me. And this was the response I got. Like you can see the first one, the second idea, the third one, the fourth and fifth. Now I said, write a one minute story using number three. I'm going by this story idea. That's this number three under the same umbrella. Now by the time I, when I sent that, write a one minute story using number three. This was the response I got, right? So as you can see, it added the title to the scenes, the narrator, the script itself. But I want to be able to only copy the script. I only need the script, right? And I don't want to do this manually. So I, I just went ahead to instruct ChatGPT to write out the narrations, right? And on sending that, it gave me the narration. So I'll just go ahead and copy only these narrations. I'll just go ahead and copy the narrations like this. And that's it. So I expect this to be one minute or about one minute, even if it's not totally one minute, right? Now I'm going to come back here. So inside the prompt box or the story box, I'll just paste it. Right here, you will see we have 821 characters out of 20,000 characters that you can take as a go, right? Now I'm going to click on create. So we just need to wait for a few seconds for that to be generated. Now we have the synopsis of our story and then you can see the cast. We have the character, the male and the female and the key shots preview as you can see. And you know, that's it. So we we'll just go ahead and click on next. Let's say you're not satisfied with um, the synopsis or the content you are seeing right here. You can recreate, just come down to this part and click on create, right? So I'm satisfied and I'm, oh, I want to move on to the next stage. I'll just go up here and click on next. So the next thing is going to be doing for us is to generate the full storyboard. All right, as you can see, the images are fully generated, images representing our story. Come to this part where we have speaker. This is where you can set the voice over um, voice. Like we have Rehan here for male voice. Then you can as well increase the speed or reduce it right here. You can go ahead and animate your images. To animate, just click on this part, you know, and then choose the model. We can use the this particular platform's model, which is video INU version one. So I'll just go ahead and animate. You can animate all or some of it. So I just click on animate and wait for it to animate. The first and the second scene I've animated them. Can you see that? The first thing as well all for free and then i'm just going to go ahead and click on next so here is the editing part you can give it subtitles you know give it um captions if you want to but i'll just go with no title and then i'll click on generate so you need to just wait for uh, a few minutes one two minutes is done he hurries down the wet street 
rain streaking the gray sea. She sprints ahead, clutching her bag as puddles burst underfoot.